there was this cleaning video that I started and you were watching me do the bulkhead side not the bulkhead side y'all were watching me do the suspension side so this is cleaned with let me get a light I started with the Dawn dish soap mixed in the spray bottle with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And then when I ran into some heavy grease, I used WD-40, red scratch pad, all that other kind of stuff. Then you come back with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser over the WD-40 and that cleans it off. And then after I was done, everything's been wiped down with wax and grease remover. So I was looking at that. You could see it from the edge when you peeled back the cover. So there was all that rust. Don't touch anything. And then there was some more rust over there. So I just pulled the whole factory heat shield cover out of the way. And I'll replace it with some 10 mil foam. And I don't know what color the gas tank is supposed to be, but this is the color it cleaned up to. So underneath, I cleaned everything back to here so I can paint it. Suspension, suspension connections have all been cleaned and then all of this underneath. Degreased, Mr. Clean, and then wax and grease remover. Too much wax and grease remover on single stage paint pulls the paint off. So this is driver side, frame rail. There's just nothing left on it. I'm gonna say that there was some, that doesn't matter. There's just hardly anything left on it. So this is just very light surface rust. Again, everything's been cleaned, wiped down. And then here's the cross member, rear suspension, cross member. So I got it all cleaned up, welded the entire seam, welded this seam, this seam on both sides. And then this has all been wiped down. We're going to treat everything with pour 15 first. And I'm going to leave the rear suspension parts black. I want this black. I don't know about the white part yet. All of this bare metal stuff is going to be painted black. All of this is going to be painted black. But let's talk for a minute about a part. So this is like an air vent thing that goes in this hole. There's a tab here and then a tab on the top and a tab on the bottom. And you can see that they all, well, the top one didn't break yet. The bottom one, the nut broke the stud. But you gotta take all three of them out if you wanna get this out, but it's probably gonna break because it's old. So just, you know, there's rust back there. I saw rust, so I took them out. They're not going back in. I don't really need them. The air's still gonna flow through here. <laughs> I mean, it, it just collects dirt and allows rust to grow. So we'll, I'm gonna put the side vents back in, but that side's gonna, that, that's just gonna stay empty or open. Okay, follow me. Side vent on the car. Here. and then when you keep going up so we can get the paintbrush up there and treat all that after 40 years it's not too bad but we'll go ahead and knock it out 
So, I'm going to paint. I'm not going to talk about it very much. But y'all are free to watch.
shade. Talking about the money that we ain't made. Singing, poor boy, don't you lie on the track like a poor boy, don't you lie on the track. Poor boy, don't you lie on the track. Oh, boy, don't you lie on the track like a poor boy, don't you lie on the track. Poor boy, don't you lie on the track like a poor boy, don't you lie on the track. Poor boy, don't you lie on the track like a poor boy, don't you lie on the track. Poor boy, don't you
Done with the black 415. So that's what that is down there. I wanted to pull these off and see. Oh, that's pretty good.
I'll probably come and touch up some of that over there and that over there with the white and probably down there and then I'll probably paint that bottom rail where the gray is white the whites never match though so you know if you put white on black it's not gonna I mean it'll cover but and then I have to figure out how I'm gonna get my sticky back 10 mil foam on the bulkhead I'm probably not gonna be able to do all one piece I'm not that talented I might be able to split it in half and finagle this side would be easy that side there's a lot of little doodads over there but we'll get it figured out when we put it back together we'll be putting in our new fuel filter fuel pressure gauge fuel filter sway bars are supposed to be red so you saw me strip that off and then I coated it with the black and then hit it with the pour 15 red and then on these I sprayed them but it went all pear shaped on me so then I sanded it down and this other coat is just with a brush so you just brush it on and it'll lay nice and flat so once the engine side is dry can reassemble these with all of my parts make it a roller again and get it out of the shop then I can pull it back in the shop, flip it around, and we do the fronts. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.